Hi, it's Ryan from Ryan Fowler Photography and I've got a quick tutorial for you about using the crop tool. So I'm just going to run through what the basics are of it. Um, if you're looking for cropping for print, that is in another video. Uh, I have linked it down below this video if you want to check that out. But this one's just going to be about changing the size and adjusting the angle of your image um, to get the quality of the image uh, that you want and the, dim and the uh, levels correct. So this image here I've got of fireworks. Um, it is quite off, as you can see the building is completely wonky. The first thing I'm going to touch on is um, the angle. So using this slider and drawing lines. So here, if you want to adjust the angle, you can simply just drag and move it around. It'll adjust the angle. Um, you can do some creative effects with that, like putting things off tilt. Um, that one's a fairly easy way, but it's probably the most manual way to do it. Um, the easiest way is click this little straighten tool next to angle and then normally you can draw a line like that and it'll adjust the image um, but if like this image the you can hardly see the horizon line so I'm just going to boost the exposure on that for a minute and I'm gonna draw that like that so there that's a that's straighter than what it was um, obviously and then I'll reduce that exposure but what I'll do is I'll reset that and this is a little trick that I didn't know for quite a while and I've not long found out before making this video but if you draw straight line going down the side of a building you know has to be straight it can adjust based on the buildings level so I can adjust it and do it that way so if you've got a dark horizon but you don't want to be playing with the exposure because you've already done the editing then you can use a building that you know has to be straight or something along those lines that you can then um, adjust the angle from so next I'm just going to talk about the um, ratio and cropping so here you can do um, 16 by 10, 16 by 9 that's good for videos um, and then here are all your different sizes that you can crop for print or Instagram so one by one that's a fair, that's a good um, sort of cropping for Instagram if you wanted to do that um, or you can just crop it inside the Instagram window it's up to you 8x10 another print size um, again there is that tutorial on uh, cropping photos for, for print and I go into a lot more depth in that um, but here you can go custom and unlock and then now you can adjust specific parts of the cropping um, in which you couldn't otherwise do. So it does come up with sort of the closest relative thing here, but if you wanted to, you can adjust whatever way you like once it's unlocked and then you can lock it and it will only adjust um, after you change it to what the print sizes are. So, like that. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial on cropping and using the adjustment angle. Um, I did get asked uh, how to use that little angle adjustment so I thought I'd put this video together and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video.